Let me go over gold real quick, and then I'll throw it over to see a, a crude in a sec. All right, here's how we trade range markets, okay? Now, remember, you can replay these videos at daytradingthefutures.com. We have several videos on there. I believe over 300-plus videos now at daytradingthefutures.com on the same exact setup. This exact setup in range markets has been working since 1985. Well over 30 years, we trade it the same exact way. Now, watch how this works. Moving averages are worthless by nature, like I said. But we use them for trend direction. So the first thing when you log in, grab yourself a cup of coffee, a tea, whatever you drink, sit down, look at your trading desk and say, hey, whatever market you're trading at, you ask yourself, am I trending or am I range slash chop? The market can only do two things. It can either trend or it can range or chop. So we know when we log in, we have to decide what is going to be our bias. Our bias has to be either selling retracements with downtrends buying retracements with uptrends, or if the market's flat like it is in gold right here, we sell the highs and we buy the lows off market profile. Don't make it any more difficult than that. So when you log in, you look at this Magenta MA, the first thing you look at, any market you trade, S&P 500 futures, it don't matter if you trade soybeans, I don't care what you trade, gold, crude, whatever you trade, stocks, doesn't matter. This, this algorithm works on the same way on all markets. If you are sideways, if the Magenta MA is sideways, you can see it's horizontal, going back and forth horizontal, you are in a Ranger chop market. The methodology states this, has been working since 1985, since market profile has been introduced. I have three major levels that I show on my black chart, two major profile levels. I mean, three major profile levels, I'm sorry. They're all solid lines. They're volume-based. You got your solid green line, your solid blue line, and your solid red line. The solid blue line is going to take all the volume that's coming in the market, all hedge funds, prop firms, all banks, all retail sales, all, 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 I'm sorry, all retail, all, all novice traders, everything. It takes all the volume and spits out that blue line. That blue line all by itself will create major support and resistance on any futures, any stocks, any currency in any market. So we know that's a major level. But what it does is spits out this red level, which is called the high value area volume profile, and the low value area, which is green. What that shows me now is the outer edges in the market where the market is either in balance or out of balance. What does that mean? If I am above green and below red, then my market that I'm trading right now is in balance. It's in a range market trading range, especially if the Magenta MA is flat sideways. So what I want to do as a trader is when it comes down to two, within two ticks of my green, I want to buy the low and try to get to the red. If I come within two ticks of the red high value, if I'm in a flat market, I want to sell within a couple ticks. It can exceed it. It just can't close the body of the candle can't close outside of HVA or LVA if you're buying or selling the high. Wicks don't count. It's all versus open versus closed relationship. The body of the candle comes down to the low here. It exceeds by the wick a little bit. We get positive market delta. It drives price all the way up to my high value area. Then it exceeds it by the wick. Remember, wicks don't count. The body of the candle straddling the HVA, meaning the body of the candle, the open versus closed is holding on it. We get native market delta, it comes all the way down to my LVA. Then it comes down to my LVA, it stops to the exact tick. I have a positive market delta and it's driving price back up. The first test of low value or high value is gonna be your best time to buy or sell and try to get to the other side of market profile. When you're in a flat market, the best time to sell or buy is on my volume profile, solid red, or solid green on the outer edges, okay? Now, if I look on this white chart next door, right next to it, I've got a red line, I mean a green line and a red line. Those are developing profiles. Remember, on my black chart, my solid lines are volume-based. My white chart's developing. Now, what developing shows you is it's going to tick with price. It's going to update as price ticks along. Where my volume profile is not going to change until the most volume is traded at a different level with my blue line and adjust my high value and low value. So it's going to stay still until it comes with another level. 
where here my white chart gave us confluence on the trade. If you look at these same levels that stack, they stacked on top of each other at the high value, and they stacked each other on the low value. That is what's called a stack level. Now you only need one market profile to stack over uh, uh, the, uh, one market profile to sell the higher buy the low and range volume being the best. Out of all my profiles, my volume profile is my most important because volume is the most important to dictate where price goes. But if you look, I got a stack level that called the low and now called the high. So now what I'll do is since it sold the high and buy the low in this stack level. I want to see price break outside of value on either chart, right? I want to see a break outside of value, and I will simply look for a retest long or retest short up against that value. That will create speed in the market because then the market has just became what's called out of balance. Now the market has went from in balance, right, to out of balance, and that's what creates speed in the market. So when you're in a range market, do not expect speed. Expect it to bounce like a, a, a pitfall between HVA and LVA, bounce back and forth, back and forth. The first test of these levels will be the best on trying to get in and out of the trade. But what happens is, what's going to happen today in gold with news coming out, and it will uh, eventually happen here, is we will break outside of value. The market will become out of balance. It will retest with a couple ticks. We'll look negative market delta on my grade chart, and we'll try to get short the market. And that's how the market works. Ever since that I became a trader 20, well over 20 plus years ago, I was a small order execution trader. We'd sell big giant blocks against institutional traders, and we'd do the same exact thing. We look for a market to go out of balance to in balance, to in balance to out of balance. And that's how you're going to trade the markets as a trader. You're going to let market profile, which I believe is a top strategy in the world. I've never seen one indicator strategy beat market profile for calling the lows and highs. I mean, it's just remarkable. It's been working since 1985, and it's just a beautiful way how to get in and out of the market because it's actually telling you the order flow of the market. This is not my opinion. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to Gerald. Don't listen to yourself. Our opinions are irrelevant. This is telling you the internals of the market to sell the low and buy the high, and it's nailed the low and high again. If you look at all our videos, over 300 plus videos, some days market profile will stop into the exact tip. Just because that's the true order flow of the market. So what we gotta do as traders then, is we have to make sure if we're in a flat range market, we buy the low, sell the high, why it's in range, and then guess what? We wait till it breaks outside of value, and then we look for a retest long or retest short, because guess what? It's gonna catch all the wrongly positioned traders, that are short or long, that do not know how to trade market profile, and then you're going to see speed in the market like that. So when you're in range, range market, see, a lot of traders don't know how to do this, and that's why they fail. If you look at a lot of traders, they're all trend traders. Well, that's great. And the market's been trending in gold and crude. The average of three days we get trend, an average of two days we get chop. But if you make all these ticks in trend markets, but then you give it all back in range, you're a losing trader. And you're going to give up all your money's in your account. So what we need to do is we need to know how to trade range just as much as we know we need to know how to trade trend. So range, buy the low, sell the high. Look how market profile is called every single range in the morning here, right? Or actually, every since midnight. Sell on the high, buy the low. Sell the high, buy the low. Range, range, range. Now to get speed in the market, I will have to break outside of my low value, my market profile levels, and then I have to get a retest. And then I'll have to get a negative or positive market delta to see speed in the market. Other than that, you log in with range, sell the high, buy the low. Okay? Very simple. If I go into a trend, trend looks totally different. See, trend is here. Trend, look at the difference in trend and chop. I'll shut this off here in a second. This is trend. The trend, the angle of the magenta moving average, all we're going to do is buy, retest long. Buy, retest long. Buy, retest long. Until the trend fails, we get back inside a high value, which you did yesterday. Oh, my goodness gracious, was that a great trade yesterday. Getting back inside a high value, retested, and just tank. Why? Because the trend failed. We know how to do that also. But trend is when you go, your angle. Chop is here. See the chop over here? Look at my market profile, call the high, highs and lows again. High value called the high. Low value called the low. Range all morning. Look at my low value called the low all morning. High value called all the high all morning. 
and then eventually broke out and went long. So if you look at it with trend, it's very simple. You just break, retest long, break, retest long, break, retest long. With chop, buy the low, sell the high, buy the low, sell the high, let it break, retest, and look at it explode. That's how the market works, guys. It's been working like that for over 30 plus years.